Hey guys, what's up? Joe here. I'm uh, doing a little tutorial on how to use GIMP for uh, editing pictures and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So, what I usually start off with is I get GIMP open and I open a picture. Um, in this case, I have my pictures in my wallpaper. I could use any number of these, but I'm going to use one that I'm going to do for my friend. This one, nice and simple. I'm going to go full screen to make it easy. And I'm going to zoom in a bunch. And once you're zoomed in, you want to grab this little cropping tool here. Which, uh, if you hold it down, you can draw freely like this to capture stuff. And then uh, cut it out if you want, but you won't notice in a white screen. Or you could uh, just click once, drag, click, and etc. Which is the way I do it because you get a uh, much better. Um, flow of things. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this little uh, top of his head here and move down and follow the contours of the hair on this picture just to uh, move around a bit. And then I'm going to be clicking and dragging my mouse around and you notice that there's some circles that uh, appear every so often. You can actually grab these and pull them and whatnot. And if you say like you mess up, like here, you could grab it and move it. But if you go too far, you could uh, backspace, and it'll take you back. Um, GIMP is really good for editing pictures. Um, I think it's better than Photoshop. And what's good about it is it's free compared to Photoshop, which is why I prefer it. Uh, now, I'm making these. Uh, I call them sprites as it's just an image without a background. I'll be showing you some other stuff about that later. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and move in here actually instead of doing that later. Um, I'm gonna cut out this little uh, white here and then uh, gonna come out. So it's gonna be a little uh, circle there. Um, excuse me a moment. Someone's calling on Skype and I'm busy doing this. Alright, so just continue following the uh, the contours of the colors. Uh, I usually stay on the pixelated outlines um, and usually try to avoid the white borders, but if you get some white borders cut in there, you can cut them out later when you can actually notice them better, which I'll show you when I finish this. Alright, um, normally this takes about, depending on how big of a picture and how detailed it is, it usually takes about five to uh, an hour actually um, but hopefully I can get this done in about five minutes um, and I think I can um, it's not too difficult to picture because um, it's cartoony and whatnot a lot of pictures that I do which uh, usually from Call of Duty which I used to make backgrounds like uh, my new current YouTube background which I'm actually working on uh, um, let's see what's the word upgrading it because uh, a lot of the pictures are kind of hidden. Uh, you could drag and move these around without uh, losing your thing. And I think there's a little bit of like a zigzag here. I'm not entirely sure. Um, so yeah, if this goes longer than five minutes, I could uh, speed it up. Um, probably won't though. Uh, I just like doing that. It's not very interesting, not very great um, but since there's not a lot going on basically just keep uh, following the contours of the picture and this is how uh, you would uh, this is cropping the picture I'm cropping out everything well it's, oops I meant to move that um, you need some some kind of dexterity to do this pretty well without uh, missing a bunch of stuff or going into stuff but it's better than the paint cropping tool as in you you don't have to uh, keep holding it to cut stuff you could uh, just uh, drag or you just click and move and click as if you were plotting a, uh, a map out on, uh, on Google Earth or something and uh, keep going with this I'll be quiet for a little bit. It helps me concentrate. And then uh, when I finish uh, cutting it out, I'll get back to the uh, important things. Now, 
if you're lo watching this and uh, saying uh, how much I'm missing things or something, uh, it's not really that important. Um, just using this mainly as an example, and when I do these, I don't strive for perfection. Um, there might be easier ways to do this, but uh, I'm not sure how. Like maybe there's a way to turn like uh, all the white into uh, transparent, which I have not figured out how to do because everything I do in GIMP I learned myself. So don't. If, I mean, if you want to point that out, that's great because um, then I could use that some like later. But this picture happens to have white background, but a lot of the pictures I do don't, so it usually doesn't work in those. No one. Backspace. Cut that into two lengths. Come up here. Get the sword again. Now I don't even remember this guy's name. Ragna, my friend, asked me to do this for him, so I am. Um. Yeah. Keep going with this. My tool. Nearly done, I believe. Keep following the contours like before. Um, I just need to get around that hand and up here, and I'm pretty much home free. So I'd say I'm about three quarters of the way done now. Um, it's probably been about five minutes already. Uh, my guessing on time usually isn't that great, and how long things will take usually ends up taking longer. Um, but I have the patience to do it because uh, I enjoy doing this actually. It's quite fun. I'm going to keep going with this. Keep follow around the hilt of this crazy looking uh, sword. Um, I don't even know what game this guy is from. Um, he reminds me of some guy from like Final Fantasy or something. Um, and he probably is. Maybe like Final Fantasy Tactics or something. I don't know. Maybe some different game altogether. I'm not sure. If you want to post out who that is, feel free. It's not that important to me. Um, following here. This hair to outline. Uh, I find that pictures look a lot better if you don't like cut the hair, like incorrectly. Like if you follow the contours of the hair, the picture will end up looking a lot better. Uh, and you know, a lot better than if you just like cut it like that. Also, uh, you might want to watch out for double clicking things, because sometimes when you double click things, it'll uh, bring that point all the way back to the beginning. Um. So like if I double click by accident or something it might bring this thing all the way up to the top there which I really don't want at all because then it ends up uh, having to redo the entire thing because you can't backspace out of it. Which is really annoying. Happened once when I was nearly done with one of my pictures. Um, it does take the fun out of doing it when you mess up like that. Alright, so we got that done. Now you want to click it, edit, and go to cut.